Hey, welcome to NAMM 2017. It's Richard with Trickfish Amps. We're here at this crazy booth this year. I've never seen this hall so busy. Um, it's awesome. I want to show you some new stuff that we've got for this year. There's two big stories. A new proprietary 10-inch Neo driver. I know that in the past we told you we love the sound of the ferrite drivers that we were using, but we got together and engineered in conjunction with Eminence a whole new 10-inch uh, Neo driver. In the 410 cabinet, we went from 96 pounds to a very manageable 74 pounds. You can actually lift it and put it in your car now. The 210 benefited the same. We lost about 12 or 15 pounds out of that. But the most important part of this story is that driver performs just as well, if not a little better in some ways than the Neo uh, driver. It's a more modern sound. The, uh, the ferrite drivers will still offer those. It's more of an old school sound. I think for guys that want that uh, greasy R&B feel down low, the ferrite still may be the answer, but uh, I'm gonna show you some new cabinets that we put these drivers in, and um, I think you'll be surprised. So, Raul, this way. Over here, this is the new uh, smallmouth 210 vertical. And you notice that we put the 210s in a vertical format so that when they're stacked, you're essentially creating a line array. It gives you a nice profile on stage with a small footprint and uh, it gets the sound up by your ears. And when you're playing, you can really feel it in your back. It's a great thing. You can also lay them on their side. And ironically, it's kind of a different sound altogether. We've also put them in, oh, by the way, these are 15 millimeter void-free Baltic birch. We put the same drivers in our 410 and 210 cabinet. And we're calling these the SM, the small mouth 210 HD and the big mouth 410 HD high def. We put some metal grills on them, a little more of a pro look. Of course, the Neo's slightly more expensive. We're not trying to gouge anybody on the pricing, but um, it's a little bit more dough. Um, and then the other big story for this NAMM show is the Bullhead .5K. Essentially what we've done is we've taken the Bullhead, kept all of the features, the same EQ, the same mic poke preamp, we put a lower wattage amplifier in it, it's 500-ish at 8 ohms, 700 at 4, something like that. We've eliminated some of the luxury items. It's really an engine on a chassis with a brake. If you guys ride bikes, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it weighs 5.1 pounds. The bull head weighs 6.4. Super lightweight. You got the cool old school chicken head knobs on here. The EQ functions exactly the same as the bull head. And um, instead of having logic to switch the frequencies, you just have a toggle switch, you know? Um, and you still have the same mute function here. You still have the line in, you still have the headphone out. All of the real basic features that bassists need to function in a professional environment. It's, uh, it's loud, it's, it's a little greasier than the bullhead. The bullhead has this sophistication to it. But this, we're finding out from a lot of guys, they like the growl that comes out of this thing. If you're a rock player or a blues player, uh, I think you might find that this might be the amp for you. You know, it's not that super sophisticated sound of the bullhead. If you want uh, a little bit more headroom, you're gonna pay for it in the bullhead. But here's the good news. 
This amplifier is $799 street. That's 500 bucks less. We worked our butts off to get you guys something that you can afford and play and be proud of hearing. Um, outside of that, all the same trick fish stuff holds true. We're growing. We've got uh, some new people on board, but David Yates, Mike Pope, Anthony Fergoso, the whole crew is still here working hard, building new stuff. We've got the uh, SM110s down here. Uh, we announced these a little while ago. These were designed primarily for acoustic bassists. Um, they have a little kickstand on them. You can stack them, you can split them. If you come over here, we've got this thing. This is kind of cool. You've got this rail back here. You got the amp ramp. You can see that it's cut on an angle. You set that down here. You put your head on top of it. And this is perfect for church, where you don't want to puncture the mix. If you're in a pit band or a, a, a orchestral situation, or if you just want to have monitors for yourself and you're using in-ears, it all works to help augment your sound. For an acoustic basis, I think you'll find that uh, the voicing of the cabinets is totally focused at an acoustic bass. We put a 100 watt Silk Dome tweeter in there. Um, it gives the pizzicato a nice warm attack and it gives the Arco that uh, level of sophistication that you need to hear. You can hear the rosin on the bow, you know. So it becomes a very nuanced, organic experience. Uh, I'm getting killed by an SG and a little tiny guitar amp. But look, if you want to find out more, come to www.trickfishamps.com. You can get us up on Facebook at Trick Fish Amps. There's, all kind, there's going to be all kinds of video and stuff coming out from NAM. And more instructional videos. We have a YouTube channel. We're, we're getting there. So uh, we'll see you somewhere online. Trick Fish out.